What's going on, you guys? Uh, today, I'm going to do a little uh, aim settings video here for Insurgency. It's been a little while since I did one, um, but since the last uh, updated uh, aim settings video that I put out, um, a few things have changed, uh, including something that I was uh, very much an advocate for, uh, which was the dead zone is now lowerable down to zero, if you'd like. Before, I believe it only went down to 15 maybe maybe 20 i can't remember it was it was pretty high uh, to be honest with you as a default low dead zone but uh now you can bring it all the way down if you'd like um we'll get to that in just a moment um but i'm going to run through you know having this as a new option um some of the finer points may have changed a little bit and i'm going to go through some of those so uh thank you guys for watching um if you're enjoying any of this content i do appreciate it if you'd like the video maybe subscribe to the channel uh hit that bell notification uh so you know when there is more content coming out so let's get right to it all right so we're going to start with the look x and y uh look x being uh, horizontal look why being vertical um, originally I think I had been keeping these two numbers uh, a bit lower um, again so that was a dead zone uh, because of the dead zone um, I think it was at 1.7 1.8 um, now I'm, I'm fluctuating between 2 and 2.2 and, and okay now keep in mind that this is I'm doing these settings on a P, on the PC version however um, I do play the PC version with a controller occasionally and I still play the PS5 version quite a, quite often um, these are still the same things you're just gonna be seeing me with using a mouse it's just a lot easier to record this way um, so yeah so 2 to 2.2 it feels very good at least to me on uh, on a horizontal uh, look uh, sensitivity um, looking look why sensitivity which will be your vertical again this is one of the things that I made a point about in the first two videos I did um, and it still holds true here uh, you want this number I think uh, significantly lower and how much lower is going to depend on who you are but what this does if if you're curious as to why this is a whole point or more lower or close to a whole point lower is because sometimes especially in this game i noticed when it, these numbers were equal if i tried to spin around uh, behind me if someone was shooting at me i end up looking up or looking down frequently by making that quick turn left or right um, this uh, this lower number on this uh, vertical axis is going to allow you to make quick turns without accidentally looking up and looking down um, so that is the reason for that. I think it's a very good good tool to use, and um, everybody I've talked to that has tried it um, seems to agree, and I'm surprised more people hadn't known about it. I, it was just an accident. I kind of found it by accident, so uh, keep that in mind when you're using these two numbers, but this is just basically going to be a, about a point or a little under a point lower, so you know maybe 0.7 lower, something like that, uh, depending where you're at. The aim sensitivity curve still comes into play here despite the dead zone being lower um, <clears throat> because in this game when you're using controller there is still quite a bit of uh, 0 to 100 speed uh, regardless of what that dead zone is now the dead zone being smaller just still allows you to make finer adjustments but this exponential uh, sensitivity curve feels the most like um, other games that I've played that I've been familiar with and I think the most people would find very comforting uh, meaning that you can go to full speed quickly and smoothly and you can break it down into a small increments uh, to try to track targets at distance um, with just as much ease I believe this is the best one for that uh, here um, I've raised this up from 0.5 to 0.6 as I, used, I believe I had it at 0.5 before just up a touch of a notch there um, and everything else we're gonna leave it at one um, these two here this I suppose this is preference but if you turn these off you're gonna notice when you look down your sights with scoped weapons that they are gonna it's gonna feel very hard to control and you're gonna feel like you're all over the place so I would suggest keeping these two <clears throat> uh, checked on and you can read the you know the descriptions for what these mean essentially this is still just all about sensitivity as even though you're seeing fov this is nothing like the fov uh you know uh, like the stuff from warzone or in battlefield where uh, if you look down your sights it either zooms in like you normally would or it keeps it at your field of view it's not that this is sensitivity only based um so keep these ones on <clears throat> uh the aim dampening uh, you know this i really do think is preference and actually I don't, this these are up all the way because i uh had forgotten to turn them down to be quite honest with you uh, on console i'll typically bring this down to about 30 to 25 um and the radius scale um i'll lower to about 50. um so this is the strength of the slowdown right so aim dampening is just a slowdown this is going to be at what point how close do you need to be to your target to get that slowdown to start 
kicking in, okay? Um, and then um, this ease-in is, again, it's, uh, you know, honestly, I would keep this all the way down because what this, I think, is going to do, the more the higher you have it, is going to feel like your, your gun is, it's really going to feel like the gun is slowing down a lot as it's getting closer to target. So I'd leave that at zero and just let these first two kick in as they would. And you might want to play around with how these work. You might want to keep them off completely. It's kind of totally up to you here. Um, I feel like if you get all of this stuff up here the way you want it, um, this is really just about preference completely. Um, and again, dead zones. Okay. So also let's take about those vibrations. Uh, you know, it's nice to feel them, but they're they're not helping you out. Uh, left, right stick dead zone. I, honestly, on uh, on PS5, I'm using this at zero, and I absolutely love it. You might need to raise it up a little bit, and I believe on console, you can go only, only go up in increments of 0.1, so you'll be able to go up from zero to 0.1, zero to 0.2. Um, I would start at I'd start at zero and see if your if your sticks are in good enough shape to handle it. Some people might find there would be a little bit of stick drift. If that's the case, just bump it up to 0.10. Um, and enjoy how much smoother this game is going to feel for you. So that's it for this video. Very short one. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this was something you tried and you liked. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you all later.